Airman First Class Raymond Lozano. Staff Sergeant Jacob Fraser. Senior Airman Bradley Smith. Major Gregory Stone. And now, Major Walter David Gray. Present! Oh. August 8th, 2012. Heather hears a doorbell early in the morning. So even once I opened the door, I still didn't quite put it together. And, and uh, the colonel was standing there. And, and he just looked at me and, and I was like, why are you here? You know, I didn't, I didn't quite get it. And then I saw the chaplain, and he was standing there holding his white piece of paper, and his hands were shaking. And and that's when I realized that someone had died. And and I just said, Oh no, who is it? And and they just, you could tell that like all the blood drained from their faces. And and he said, Heather, it was David. Major Gray was a 13 Lima, the career field designator for air liaison officers special operations airmen who serve as the link between the Air Force in the sky and the Army on the ground. But I remember when we were stationed in Germany and he came home very, very excited and he said, they've opened up the 13th Lima career field. And I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? And he said, TACP, I can be a TACP again. But it meant that her husband, who served within the ranks of the Tactical Air Control Party as an enlisted airman, would be leaving once again. And I will never forget that conversation. I had a, uh, like a six-month-old baby, and my youngest was about six months old. And I remember sitting there and just, just sitting back and listening to him talk about the brotherhood that was TACP and talk about um, how once a TACP, always a TACP, and he had been a TACP, and he had to go back to it. There, there was just no other option. That This was what he had been put on this earth to do. We're honored to have Major Gray's family in attendance today as well, his wife, Heather Gray. Now, 10 months after her husband was killed in action while serving in Afghanistan, Heather Gray found herself back at the schoolhouse, where it all began, for the unveiling of her late husband's name on the TACP Fallen Heroes Memorial. I, uh, I think the memorial looks great. I, I wish there were, there was no need for a memorial, <laughs> but, um, but I think they do a really fantastic job of honoring the fallen and, and remembering uh, not just David, but all of them and, and you know, making the families feel like they're still a part of, of the community. Heather remembers fondly of a time she ran a race with her husband, where he told her, You know, just finish strong, just finish strong. And so um, I wanted to do something to take a tragedy and turn it into something good and inspire people with the same kind of inspiration that he left me with. She now tours the country with her husband's words creating Finnish Strong Ministries to honor the legacy of her late husband and she has no intention of ever stopping. I know that he died doing what he loved to do and that I can't think of a more fitting way than for him to die as a hero because he was a hero. Airman First Class Stephen Ellis Herbert Field, Florida.